As a nation, we still love our spuds. That's why there's nearly half a million tons of them grown here every year. But not all of them end up on the dinner plate, with shocking amounts ending up in the cattle trough instead. But one farming family from Meath wants to change all that. It's late September and the potato harvest is in full swing. The Mead family business produces nearly 35,000 tonnes of potatoes every year. Robert Devlin is the general manager. He's a practised hand when it comes to knowing what their customers want on their shelves. Industry spec size wise will be 40 mil to 80 mil, uh, blemish free, free from scab, any mechanical damage, any greening. You always have between 20 and 30 percent waste. Uh, nearly every year. Yeah, you can always allow for that. Where do all those out of specification potatoes go? Typically, they will go for animal feed or stock feed. So what's the difference in price then if the spud ends up going to waste versus one making the grade? On, on an average year, packing quality potatoes can make anything between three and four hundred euros per tonne. Anything out of spec, very, very low value, 15, 20 euros per tonne. Really? Really, yeah, very, very low. The grading process starts back at their facility in Lobenstown, where the potatoes are washed and then the out-of-spec ones are removed. It's quite the eye-opener to see how easily a potato can be deemed unworthy. Robert, just a bit of skin. A bit of skinning, yes. Out. Come on out, yeah, out. So, a bit, a bit of skin just there and there. Has to go out. The amount of waste here, like it's a tiny blemish. You just cut it off and it'll be fine. Has to go. About 70% of the potatoes the meads harvest will enter the human food chain. But now the remaining 30%, instead of going into low value animal feed, is being used to create something far more valuable. Last July, the meads opened up Ireland's very first potato starch processing facility. As well as being used as a food additive, potato starch is widely used in the pharmaceutical industry as a binding agent in tablets. It can also be made into things like cutlery, straws and bags, and because it's totally biodegradable, it's seen as a sustainable alternative to plastic. Potato starch is used in so many industries. Us, we're producing a food grade starch that's predominantly used in meat and cheese processing. For what? It's a binding agent. It's what holds that burger and sausage together. It's also used in the vegetarian industry. So you think of your falafel, your meat-free sausage. It's the starch that holds those various ingredients together. It's your, it's your thickener in your soup, your sauces, your stews. Anything between six and eight tonnes of potatoes are needed to produce a single tonne of starch. It takes only an hour and some very high-tech equipment to extract the starch from the potato. It emerges at the end of the process as a white dry powder. Every tonne produced is worth between 700 and 1,000 euros. A long way from the 20 euros per tonne the below spec potatoes would have otherwise achieved. Describe how it goes from this into a powder. First of all, first thing we do is we load up our hopper here. We put 12 tonnes of potatoes in here. Now if you want to do a bit of spudmatics, a typical potato weighs around 250 grams. So there's nearly 50,000 potatoes in that hopper there. Okay. Then they go on through a washer and they stoner up onto our inspection table. But we go on in and it's elevated across it into our rasper. So our rasper is like a giant food blender. So technically then we're nearly making like a, a potato smoothie. Here you have a gigantic mohawk running very, very fast. And here we have a, a rover here with 102 double-edged blades here, which chops up the potatoes. They are sharp, very, very sharp. Robert, what's going on here? Well, Dara, after, after we make our potato soup or a potato pulp, there's still a certain amount of proteins, fibres, soils and sands left in the process. So now we have to start washing the starch. So this goes through an eight-stage process. This is called a hydrocyclone. Once the potato starch leaves the hydrocyclone, the drying process begins. This is called a rohoi factory filter. So at this stage now, the starch here is still at 30% moisture content. So it goes off here now, it's the first and last time you're going to see it. Half of here now it goes off to be dried and bagged off in the bagging process. Hydrocyclones, rotary vacuum filters, all this technical wizardry seems a long way removed from the humble spud. 
This is a multi-million euro investment by the company, but it seems that even in the most traditional of enterprises, diversification is essential to survival. Obviously it will create some more jobs directly and indirectly, but really it's all about kind of protecting the existing jobs for the future. It's about keeping that innovation and sustainability within the company because you kind of always need to reinvest. We're in the potato business 40 years. We need to be at the cutting edge of it. We need to be a couple of steps ahead. With so many uses for potato starch, the company is confident that there's a huge market for its product. In the next year, they themselves hope to have a new biodegradable bag for their potatoes, made entirely from their own potato starch. So you're telling me that the packaging that you're going to wrap your spuds in could be made out of the spuds, the way Absolutely. spuds? Absolutely, from our class two potatoes that don't make it to retail spec. So there's so much potential and we're only learning the potential of the spuds. We are now offering our starch to food manufacturers in Ireland. We also hope to develop a retail pack used for regulating the blood sugar, it's used as a fiber, protein content, it has so much value. So you're going to sell starch on the shelf as almost some kind of health food? Yeah, so it's actually available in health food stores at the moment. But again, it's imported from further afield, Denmark, Poland, Holland. So we hope to replace that with Irish starch, but also offer that retail level, your supermarket. The potato has been at the heart of this business for over four decades. And with this new venture, it looks like that it's set to remain the case for many years to come.